time for this nation to step up to the plate and honor its constitution and the promise of freedom and equality for all. We are here today to say now is the time for marriage equality in New York. It doesn't make any sense that we can cross the border into Massachusetts or Connecticut or travel to Iowa or Vermont or New Hampshire and have marriages performed there than recognized here. But if that same marriage between two men or between two women is performed here, it is unrecognizable, unsolemnized. We've had the debates, told our stories, sponsored lobby days, and the American public has seen the light. The majority of people support our right to marry, and that is what we are talking about today, not what any one of our faith traditions teaches or someone else thinks the Bible or other holy writ does or does not say. I know what the Bible says. I spent a long time studying it. It says that Ruth loved Naomi and said to her, wherever you go, I will go. Your people shall be my people. Wherever you live, I will live. Wherever you die, I will die. May God do this to me and more also, if even death separates me from you. That is the number one biblical reading used in church heterosexual weddings today, which means, of course, that millions of Americans are pledging to love like two lesbians. This is not, however, a matter of theological debate, but of fidelity to the principle, the right of every one of us in this country to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The right every one of us to share in the American dream of human equality. You know, for 18 days, we watched people in Egypt line the streets of <coughs> Cairo, demanding their freedom. If we, as lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people want to be free, want to be treated as full and equal human beings, we must do the same. And let today be not a one-shot deal, but the first day of an unending demand for what is just and right and fair until we win and prevail. Do something not only today, but every single day, whether it's calling up a state senator or sending in an op-ed piece or standing on the corner with a sign. Do something every single day until at last we achieve marriage equality. The marriages we will witness today will be recognized in the community of faith I serve. They should be recognized, like all the heterosexual weddings I do, by the state. Promise yourself today that the vows you take will be the first step toward fighting for and gaining that recognition. Will those who want to be married today, whether straight or gay, come forward at this time? church has a very long history. In fact, gay marriages were celebrated in sanctuaries before heterosexual marriages. We have records dating back to the fourth century. The sacrament we celebrate today finds a strong support in the scriptures, in the stories of Jonathan and David, and Ruth and Naomi, and Abraham and Sarah. The vows you affirm today are lifetime commitments to build a life of love together and through this loving commitment to strengthen the wider community around you. You make this commitment as a gay couple without benefit of a marriage license, and you have chosen to renounce your license in support. So you are giving up the resulting sanction of the state and its laws and statutes. You will have only the love of God and the support of lovers of justice and equality to support you. Lean on that support today as you promise your lives to one another. At this time, I ask you to face each other. Do you promise to take your partner as your lifelong spouse to live together in peace, harmony, and love? 
Will you do your utmost to honor him or her always with love, honesty, fidelity, and trust? Will you who are witnessing these vows do all in your power to support these couples? Do you have signs that you will keep this question from the different names or symbols to them? The ring is used as a symbol of commitment because of its shape, the circle. It has no beginning and no ending. It is the oldest symbol for God, that which was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Therefore, it is a very good sign of the love and commitment that is to characterize your relationship. God, we ask you to bless these rings and make them holy. May they always stand as a reminder of the commitment made before you this day. Amen. Would you put the ring on your partner's finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I pledge you my love. I promise to be faithful to you. In sickness and in health, in good times and in bad, all the days of our lives. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. For as much as you have consented together in holy matrimony and have witnessed to the same before God and this company of family and friends and have sealed your vows with the giving and receiving of rings, with the authority vested in me through the church and recognized by the state, I pronounce your marriages solemnized, good and real and true, and that you stand united as a married couple on the pathway of life, you may go in peace. Amen. Yeah.